We are learning new details this afternoon about the Warrensville Heights uh, police officer with a passionate message on Facebook. Cleveland 19's See a New Yorker was the first to report today on Twitter, the latest on her job status now. See ya. Yes, Mark. Yes, Cleveland 19 was also the first to speak with Officer Nakaya Jones and her husband, Kevin Jones, who is also a police officer. Since we never heard back from the Warrenville Heights Chief of Police, Wesley Haynes, we decided to call Mayor Brad Sellers to get some answers. He told Cleveland 19 News that Officer Nakaya Jones did not violate any social media policies. In her own words, Officer Nakaya Jones broadcast a passionate video via Facebook, but Mayor Brad Sellers says it's her own message and she did not violate any policies with the city of Warrensville Heights. Officer Jones live streamed the seven minute video after watching another video of 37 year old Alton Sterling dying while being handcuffed by Baton Rouge police. The U.S. Department of Justice is investigating. The mayor tells us that the city is reworking the social media policy and that's why there isn't currently one in place. He says if there was one, it would have been a tougher call on whether the policy was violated. Now, last night, Officer Jones held a press conference with her family where she addressed the support and the backlash she's received since her Facebook message. It has been viewed more than six million times, and that's just on Facebook. Her husband tells us she has a full schedule today. They are working on a time to sit down and to talk with us. Mark Ramona. All right, see you. Thank you.